Welcome back everybody, I'm your host Storm and this video I just kind of wanted to you know, organize my card collection and kind of like short off a little bit too. Um, I have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and while they're not exactly organized, uh, not exactly anyway, um, I, I just I, well I just want to take the time to kind of organize them now anyway just to just to bring, make, make, them a little, make the, the collection a little more neat uh, sort of in that, in that sense. Um, one collection here so far. Um, well, so in this binder here, this first page, as you can see, I have a small Dark Magician collection going right here. I have six of the Dark Magician cards that I need right now. Uh, six of the artworks. The, one, the only one I'm missing is the kind of the, the monochrome Dark Magician, the, the entire black and white one. That one, that one was a 20th anniversary um, edition of the card. New artwork done by Kazuki Takahashi. Uh, it, along with some other cards, were redone by him with new artworks and even his signature on the card. That's the only one that I need for this little collection right here. I need to work on that. So as you can see here, I have um, the original Dark Magician from the the first starter deck, starter deck Yugi, that came out so many years ago. This is that exact card from that starter deck. Not the same artwork from a different collection. The exact one, SDY6. That was its numbering in that starter deck, and I have that right here. Very old card. Uh, it's not in mint condition. It's a little, well, not worse for wear, rather, but um, it's it's fine. I think it's, it's usable. It's playable. The second one, this Dark Magician, this artwork first appeared in the Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon booster pack. That was the first booster pack we got in, in the U.S. Uh, this one is not from that booster pack. This is the same artwork from a different set. Um... This third one over here is the Arcana card. That's kind of that's kind of cool. The Arcana Dark Magician, this red Dark Magician. Kind of funny story. Even though all the different artworks have the same eight-digit passcode at the bottom left-hand corner, for some reason the Arcana Dark Magician has a different passcode. Which I always find that interesting. All the other ones have the same passcodes except the Arcana one. That one has a different eight-digit passcode. No idea why, but I always find that interesting. Yeah. This one here, honestly, is my least favorite Dark Magician card. Just this artwork, I got tired of it after a long time. Uh, it shows up in a lot of the different video games, and yeah, after a while, I, it just it just kind of wore on me. I, 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 it's, it's really my least favorite of the artworks. Um, the four or five sixth one right here this one is from dark side of dimensions the the newest Yu-Gi-Oh movie that came out this is the artwork that Yugi used in that movie um, so from what I've heard you know I have to go back in you know, as much as, as big a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh that I am I never really read the original manga all the way through both uh, the season zero manga and uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh dual monsters manga I never read either one of those all the way through um, from what I would recall, the Dark Magician was originally originally all black and white. I mean, like i um, in the manga, which, which is why it's called the Dark Magician or Black Magician in the Japanese version. But uh, from what I've heard, the weight of all that black ink affected the pages that were being drawn out. So Kazuki Takahashi altered the card's color scheme in the manga. But apparently, this one—I I suppose actually it's both of these. Uh, this Dark Magician card, and the the missing monochrome Dark Magician 20th anniversary card, and this one from Dark Side Dimensions. These are all like basically the original color schemes of, of Dark Magician in the manga, more or less. And so to kind of like, as a callback to that, since Dark Side, Dark, since Dark Side Dimensions is actually a continuation of the manga and not the anime, technically speaking, uh, the, uh, they used this new artwork for that for that movie. Kind of to kind of go back to what the original um, design for Dark, Dark Magician was in the manga. I really like it. This one here in particular came from the movie pack uh, used to endorse the movie, to sponsor, uh, promote the movie rather. But it's, it's all gold all around the um, the card edge right there, and even the border, which is cool. Uh, but I still better have like all ultra rares. All these are ultra rares except this one and the seventh Dark Magician um, card here. This one is more of a, um, I don't know what you call this one, jeez, I, I've, I've lost track of the different rarities in the game, unfortunately. 
this one um, is the newest one. And what's kind of interesting, it's one of the first cards that they, they printed that now, for, for, so for normal monsters, as many people probably know, normal monsters, you identified on a normal monster by just the card itself, the yellow card. The yellow card is a normal monster. That's all you need to know about it. But this Orwell from Dark Magician here is one of the first ones they printed that finally just kind of ditches that and kind of makes the normal monsters kind of more in line with the other ones. So now instead of just being Spellcaster and the color, the color card itself telling you it's a, it's a normal card, Spellcaster slash normal, that's what it is now. I mean, I get the logic behind it, but I don't know. Normal monsters have gone this long without needing that. But at the same time, I guess you could say so So have, like, fusions and effect monsters and synchros and everything. The color of the card tells you what it is. So you don't really need, you, do, you really don't need to say, like, dragon slash fusion or dragon slash synchro or whatever it is. The, the color of the card itself tells you what it is. But, I mean, I guess they decided to, they wanted to bring normal monsters more in line with, with what's going on. So, I mean, I'm not against it. I'm not mad about it or anything, but I just kind of feel it's a bit unnecessary. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't really bother me, though. But it's just kind of an interesting development we've had after all these years. After, like, uh, 10, 20 years? Uh, well, going on 20 years now, at least for the, the card game, anyway. Yu-Gi-Oh! itself is started back in the 90s. So that's this page. Just Dark Magicians here. Um, this space here is, is reserved for the monochrome Dark Magician card, the, the fifth artwork. I'm missing that one. I need to get that. And I have no idea when I'm going to do these last two pages here. Uh, probably stick something there, I guess. Something. Ah. So these two Dark Paladins, the first two artworks, I don't have the third one, though. I got, I believe, let me see. A second. Okay, so this one came from Magician's Force. The actual boost. Oh, it's a little. That's a little worn, but I, I guess I use it. So this one came from Magician's Force. I, I was so surprised to get. It. I, I got a, a boost effect one time for Christmas. Those are two boost effects for Christmas. One was Magician's Force. I wanted Dark Paladin for the longest time. I opened the booster pack, and lo and behold, there it was. I was so excited. I got so fucking lucky to get this card. I'm so happy for it. But this Dark Paladin. Paladin I got some years later. I kind of like this one oh, the best though. It just Dark Paladin kind of standing there in front of the Magician's Circle, standing like a like a sentinel about to throw down with whomever's coming its way. That's kind of cool. And I'm missing the third one. The third one kind of has like a diffusion wave motion going on in the background, which I, I think that's cool too. Uh, Dark Magician Girl. I traded with a friend of mine for this. Uh... I wanted Dark Magician card, Go card for a long time. These are all like years old, mind you. This is this isn't recent stuff, but yeah, back when I first got this card, I wanted Dark Magician Go card for the longest time. Finally got it. I traded with a friend of mine for it. Uh, this one's kind of worn too. Uh, this one came from Rise of Destiny. Oh yes, Rise of Destiny. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember every single booster pack, unfortunately. So Dark Magician Go actually has about. I think maybe four artworks now. I'm trying to think. Um, I think about four. As a matter of fact, you know what? Source of Dark Magic, I'll move you to the side here. Next to Buster Blader, who is tangentially related to Dark Magician these days. But also, uh, whoops. Show you right there. Uh, Buster Blader right there. Buster Blader is kind of tangentially related to Dark Magician these days. It always kind of was. They're similar in nature and attack points and just uh, overall visually, too. Uh, Buster Blader also got its own archetype, which I'm glad about. I've always loved Buster Blader. This one, where did I get this one from? This one came from BPT and it's labeled as card number 8. Uh, I know exactly, I got this from a 10. I don't remember which one it is. I don't have all the, <clears throat> all the information in front of me. Okay, so this page is supposed to be reserved for Blue Eyes White Dragon. As you can see, I only have two. God damn it. So this Blue Eyes, much like the Dark Magician card before it, is from the original starter deck. This is from starter deck Kyber, and 
it's kind of weird. Dark Magician is not labeled as SDY1, but this one is yeah, SDK1. So this is labeled as card number one in that booster pack, um, that star deck. As, as you may be able to see, it's the very one for wear. Yeah, that's always terrible. Ah, I guess I can, get, I can get a replacement for it, but then... Uh, if I do get a replacement for it, I'll probably end up putting this one somewhere else for safekeeping. So much like with Dark Magician, this second one, the second artwork came out in the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon um, booster pack series. And much like the Dark Magician card that I have in the previous pages, uh, yeah. So this one, this is the alternate artwork, this is the second one, but um, not mint either, unfortunately, but whatever. Uh, this one is, although this is the second artwork, this, is, this, this did not come from the Blue Eyes, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, booster pack. But again, that doesn't bother me. I'm fine with that. So, Blue Eyes White Dragon has eight new artworks. It has eight different artworks altogether. So, I have two of them. And now I'm missing the other six that I really need to get. But right here in the corner, as you can see, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Kind of a cool card. Um, you know, I do like Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, but it's not exactly my favorite. It's also really difficult to use since you have to fuse. Um, you get the fusion summon ultimate dragon to the field. I mean, not an impossible feat to do, but um, I don't know. It seems like a lot of work just to get this one card. Good effects, I guess. Decent effects, but nothing to write home about, I don't think. What was I doing with this page? This one's empty. Okay, so right here, as you can see, this is a... F okay, Flat out, this is a uh, a fake uh, Wing Dragon of Rock card that I have. I got this years ago. It's it's very clearly fake. So for one thing, um, on the back, as you can see, the coloration is is off, and also you don't have Yu-Gi-Oh or Konami's logos on the back. I don't know the Japanese cards have that, but the uh, at least the the English ones do. Also, I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's just the feeling, the texture is all off. This thing's like. The whole card feels laminated, even though it's holographic and everything like this. But yeah, and this the, the 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 stars are off. The like, not the font, but what well, we're gonna call it, font or whatever it is for the um for the card is just way off. It's 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 fake. I know it's fake. I've always known it's fake, but I kind of liked having because at the time I didn't have any any Egyptian god cards, but you know I had this. This very, very bad, very, very obvious fake. I do have an, an interesting card card, though. I do have one. I did an unboxing for it. Hold on for a second. So some of you may remember this that I did. This unboxing, or untinning, whatever you want to call it, for... Uh, the UE Legendary 10 for 2016. On the side of it, there it is. Right there. Oh, that's right, I forgot it. There's another Dark Magician card in it. This one's mint. Oh, I, I can probably replace... I don't know if I can. Maybe I can replace the other Dark Magician card that I have. Oh, hmm. My Dark Magician's here. Wait a second. One second. Like I said, this is part organization, part just showing off my card collection. At least a small bit of it, anyway. All these hollow foils. You know what? Hold on a second. I'm going to place these on the side. Uh, I have some more in here that I'm looking at. Let's see. Oh, here's some more. I've organized these before, but you know what? This, this makes a, a decent video, at least, I think. Oh, there's another one. Oh, three more, actually. I forgot I had this one. Alright. Place those to the side. And don't get me wrong, I, I'm fully aware you can't really see what I'm doing right now, but just one second. One second, okay. Okay, so that's the side now. 
All right, so these are the holographic cards that I got from that 2016 Yuki 10. Let's not even bother trying to just okay. No, there, there's more than just more than just these. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, I'm just organizing these a bit, and you know what? I will. Well, first of all, I'm gonna take Slifer here and put him. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll put him in the middle here. I do actually do have an Obelisk card, but that, that's actually in a in a deck that I made. Um, I'll worry about that later. Um, I'll put this Dark Magician card that I have here. I'll, yeah, I'll put this to the side. I'll figure, figure out what to do with that later. So, let's... Okay, so Ebon High Magician. Hold on. Let's go back to the beginning here. Um... Oh, jeez. When, when I get all the cards that I need, I'm gonna have to, like... Just, I'm gonna have to, like, just take out some cards altogether, honestly. But, f you know, for now... Ah... Uh, jeez. I'm... This sucks. Actually, no, it works. So, okay, so seven. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll put it right here. I'll put Ebon High Magician right here. You can see it. So, he's amongst his brethren now. Or at least tangentially speaking. Ebon High Magician is not technically part of the Dark Magician archetype, but close enough. Close enough. Um, let's see. For these... Let's keep going for a second. Um, so, missing blue eyes cards, all that, and the ultimate dragon. So, real Slifer and fake Raw, and now I do have a, a real obelisk, but I need to. Like I said, that, that's another deck of mine that I was using, so that's just. Uh, you know what, for these. Okay, you know, well, you know what, I'll, I'll just put them here. I'll just put, put these right here. Once I, once I get the. Um, the rest of the cards that I need, then I'm gonna just like, like so. As I've explained, like these cards are kind of the missing spaces and everything. These cards are kind of arranged due to like what cards that I want to place. And it's like this spot is reserved for the 20th anniversary black and white Dark Magician card. Uh, these two spaces with Ebon High Magician and another missing space. Well, I guess if I can get my hands on it, um, Ebon Illusion Magician will go there. Uh, it's a lot of organization to do. I'm missing the third Dark Paladin artwork. I'm missing three more Dark Magician Gold artworks. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. So you know what? Just for spaces that are just kind of up for grabs, I'll place these there. So, different dimension... What the hell is this card called anyway? Actually... One second, let me think.
Okay, so I looked it up. So, DDD stands for Different Dimension Demon. I never knew that. So, Different Dimension, Different Dimension Demon, Flame King Genghis, and Dragonox, the Empowered Warrior. And so now, well, organize them a little bit too, so let me... So, Different Dimension Oracle King Dark or Dark D partial B A R C Dark Dark I don't know. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay, so that can go there. Then I'll put Dragonox the Empowered Warrior in here. Let's see now. Um, Assault Blackwing Rakiri the Rain Shower. That'll go here. And whew, Galaxy Cyclone will go there. Right next to Beast King Barbaros. Interesting card. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Card do again. Let me see. Yeah. Let's see. You can normal summon or set this card without tributing. If you do, its original attack becomes 1900. You can tribute three monsters to tribute summon this card. When you do, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Okay, well, yeah, so it's a better version of uh, Guild for the Lightning and Moisture Creature. Also, it's a level 8, so it's actually probably pretty decent for um, Xyz summoning, if you want to get in a level, uh, rather, a rank 8 Xyz monster out there. So, the Sphinx cards from um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pyramid of Light. Actually, it's all five of these cards, actually. Uh, don't count this one. Uh, yeah, that's what it. Andro Sphinx, Sphinx Talaya, and... How you pronounce this? They've been actually mispronounced in the movie. Uh, yeah, the and then the Great Sphinx. Sorry, they pronounce it Thinian the Great Sphinx in the movie, but that's actually mispronouncing it. I want to get the pronunciation right, but I'm so used to saying Thinian. Whatever. Water Pond, Pyramid of Light. So all four of these are decent cards. Kind of. Mm, I probably won't put them in. Well, no, because you. These would be terrible in the deck, honestly. And just Sphinx, Sphinx to Leia, and I'll just fucking say it. Thinny and the Great Sphinx. No, the and then the eight. Whatever. Decent. Mm, it depends on how you find decent. I don't know. Summoner Magician right here is actually one of my favorites, though. I love this card. Makes a strong monster weak and a weak monster strong. You can discard a card from your hand to the graveyard and talk about one monster in the field. Its attack becomes 2,000. I think until the end of the turn. Yes, end of the turn. Good card, I think. Let's see. Ancient Lamp, Twin-Headed Beast, and Flu Summon Dragon. Okay, so, the, the Flu Summon Dragon, again, just like with, with Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, this is from the actual um, Kappa Starter deck. And what's interesting about this card, too, is it's, it's, it's the, the wording of the card's description. Over the years, the cards have become more and more technical, you know, to kind of avoid... Is that the cat? I think it is. To kind of avoid any sort of um, misunderstandings, they become so technical. Like, once per turn, you can use this effect, and they, 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 they word things just so precisely so that you can't fudge the rules or something to, to kind of give yourself an unfair advantage. But, like, when the card game first came out, and it's going back to this card again... Look, reading the description of it, it's it's so casual about it, which sort of reminds me of Magic the Gathering a bit, especially early on in its, in its infancy, too. Let's see. Fool of Summoning Dragon. Spell card. Playing this card when you have a Lord of Dragons card faced upon the field allows you to play up to two Dragon-type cards from your hand as a special summon. Now, that wording in itself probably isn't too bad, but like I said, this is back when the game first came out, so it's a lot more technical. I don't have the actual new errata in front of me, but I believe it is something like once per turn, if you... Is it once per turn? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, I think the more technical errata now would be something akin to uh, you can only play this card when you have a face-up Lord of Dragons on the field. You can special summon up to two dragon type monsters from your hand on the field to the field uh, okay well that's still a little casual I think but I mean it's you know it's, it's just the way the games have has changed it's the way it, it, it words things 
Relinquished. Is this one also from... Yes, it is. This is also from Star Deck Pegasus. Another Star Deck card. You know, for, for a card that has such a simple... Such a simple effect, when you get down to it, it has, like, it's the, the wordiest card I've ever seen. Like, so much so. I think the only card that's even wordier than this one is probably Thousand Eyes Restrict, its own fusion. I mean, can, can you even can you even see? Can you tell? Look at that. So much text right there. Just to say, it can only be ritual summoned using a, a specific ritual card. Target once per turn, target one, one monster your opponent controls. Equip it to this card as an equip spell, more or less. Uh, and it gains the attack and defense of that card. And if it would ever be destroyed by battle or card effect as well, let me see. Jesus, it is so small, I can barely see it. Uh... No, just no, no card effects. Just if, it, if it's ever attacked um, by monsters, by an opponent's monster, the opponent takes da takes the damage you would have taken, and the equipped card is destroyed instead of relinquished. Also, if you try to target a face-down monster your opponent controls, the effect still works, but it'll gain an attack and defense of zero, so basically still sticking it at um, square one, basically. Kind of a tricky card, especially early on in the game, but not impossible to get around. Like I said, it can still be destroyed by card effects, so you use like Fissure or Dark Hole or Wageki, whatever you can. Also, it can still be banished, too, by other card effects, so it's, it's not impossible to get around, but Linkage was definitely tricky early on. Mirror Wall. My use is against um, a Tem during Dwarves Kingdom. Not a bad card, I don't think, but um, kind of not worth it, I, I don't think. You have to pay a 2,000 life points to use it every turn. It's eh, not bad, but I don't, I, I don't think it's really worth it. Let's see, I have Neptibus, the Atlantean Prince, another ultra rare. I'm gonna put that right here. Because why not? Because I'm tired of these missing spaces. Speaking of which. Solid Magician level four. I had Solid Magician level eight, but I traded it away because I was it was dumb to do, that missing space right there. Like my logic was, well, as long as I have Solid Magician level eight, as long, if I can get those spell counters on it, and it gains those attack points. Who cares? That was dumb to do. I need. I really need to get another some additional like eight card back. I have to look for that. Um. Let's see. What can I put here? Oh, well, I'll put this here. I guess. Odd Eyes Fusion. Because why not? Right next to it. If you have just noticed it, Shadow Spell. And this is. Oh, this is from um the. Kyber Evolution starter deck. They came out with revamped versions of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kyber starter decks during the dual, um, the Bow City arc of the anime. Uh, and this comes from that one. I like that. Another, another missing card here. What is missing from here? How was I organizing all this stuff? Why is there a card missing here? Twin Twisters. I'll put that here. Because why not? Grand Mog the Rock Monarch. The, the Monarch's a, p uh, a personal favorite of mine. I like this one. And as you can very much see, this is one to hell and back. The fuck? How did I... Wh wh where does this card even come from? Oh, this, one, this is from Flaming Eternity. The Flaming Eternity um, booster pack. Mm. I need the other, the other ones, too. If I, get, if I can get, like, a mint, or even close to mint, Grand Mar card, as long as I can get, like, a... This is, um, a super rare, too. Uh, I don't know what I'll do with this one. I don't just like throwing cards away. I don't think, anyway, but, um... I don't want to say give away, because he wants this one, but... I don't know what I'll do, but I need to look for, like, a mint Monarch card. Also, I have a couple of the other Monarchs, but they're, like, common prints. And I, I want ultra rares or super rares or whatever. I need I need any variation of a rare that I can get. So I'm not putting those in in this in this binder. Over here, Dark Spirit of the Silent, Harvest Angel of Wisdom, Darkness Neos. I hate this card so much. Ugh. Because you know what? I had I traded my ultra rare 
ancient gear golem for this card because I thought it was a, I thought it was a good investment. You know, I thought it looked cool. 4,000 attack points, 4,000 defense points. Kind of a s easy ish way to summon it. But I fully regret that. I, 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 I was. What did I do with the day? I did it. Fuck, why the hell did I do it? I need to find an, uh, like another ultra rare ancient gear golem. I have a common ancient gear golem, but who the fuck wants to use that? I want the ultra rare one. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, a common reprint. Volcanic Doomfire. I thought this is a cool card. I kind of like it. Um, I, would, I probably wouldn't use this in the fire deck, honestly. But it's a cool enough card. And over here, give and take. I don't even remember what this one does. Special summon one monster from your graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. And increase the level of one monster you control by the level of the special summon monster until the end phase. So I don't know if you can tell, but that card obviously came out during the 5Ds era. So that's something very much used to, for um, synchro summoning. I will. Let me go put it here. Um, actually, you know what? I have it. I'll place. Shining number 39, Utopia Prime. Right there. I have no other Utopia cards, so why not? When I get some more, then I'll reorganize, but until then, it can go right there. Because why not? Okay, so Helios, the Primordial Sun, that I have right there. So I put this right here because I was waiting to get um, Helios Duo Majestus and Helios Duo Helios Majestritus. Majest fuck, I don't know what it's called. Uh, basically, okay, so basically one, two, and three. That's basically what it is. So wait for those cards. Um, Golden Homunculus. If I remember correctly, right? Yeah. I got Golden Homunculus and Helios Duo, um, Helios the Primordial Sun from the World Championship 2006 um, GBA game. They come, those games come with three cards, but I don't remember what the third one is, or maybe I put it somewhere else. I don't know. Dragodoria. Drago, oh, Dragodia. Dragodia. Whatever. Uh, I got this from a Shonen Jump years ago. Promotional card. Or that, no, I actually think I might, I might have bought this from someone at school. I think I might have bought this from someone at school. Amazon's Chain Master. And more missing cards. What the hell was supposed to go here? Okay, you know what? Okay, since... Alright. Since those are empty... Let's go ahead and place... Fright for Chimera. Right there. Right there. And right here, fight for Sabretooth. Because why not? Right? I'm going to put right here. Um, let, me, uh, let me see what we have. Because I have a couple cards I can probably put right there, but you know what? Let me skip ahead for a second. Um, What were, the, what were these even called? These elemental reptile things? I don't know. Silent Abyss, Raging Earth. Sorry for the camera wrong. I'm just trying to make sure everything gets in, in shot. Destruction Cyclone, Radiant Spirit, and Umbral Soul. I am missing the fire one. I don't have the fire card. Even after all these years. They're all reptiles, they're all level 7. Same attack and defense points for all of them. Let me see, Radiant Spirit. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy all face down and non light monsters. So I guess so that's an effect, but they apply to apply each one's respective attributes to um to the effect. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't. These are these are the kind of kind of cards you, you get flat as collector's purposes. Honestly, um, I wouldn't use these in, in a, an actual deck. It's kind of it's fun to have them for for collector's purposes. Such as these three. Uh, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 4. Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 6. And Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 8. How's about that? Got all three of these. Love these cards. Honestly, I've loved these the three of these cards like way more than the Arm Dragons. Arm Dragon has... I think... I think better support is probably the wrong thing to say, but... 
Well, Arm Dragon has like more forms. Anyway. He has one more form. One. Arm Dragon's level levels um three, five, seven, and ten. I don't know how you got to ten. Usually, you know, by that by that logic, you would go from you know, three, five, seven, nine. But okay, fine. Level ten. If you want to do that. Yeah. Ah. So you watch Dark Horus. Love this card. Some missing spaces here. Um. That's right, because I was looking for... I wanted to collect all the Dark Counterpart cards. Ugh, I'm just behind on that. Well, this can't be right. I know I have a Cyber Dragon. I have a Cyber Dragon somewhere. Guess not? Okay, so, well, I'm missing something. I'm missing... Okay, that's right. Now I remember what these two spaces were. Okay, so Cyber Dragon's original artwork, and then Cyber Dragon's second artwork. Cyber Twin Dragon for the same space here. It only has one artwork for some reason. That's kind of weird. And then the two artworks are Cyber and Dragon. And there's a little Chimera Tech Over Dragon. And then I need Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. I need all of them. Cyber Elton, right here. Eltonin, rather. I don't even know what it does. My Elemental Heroes, um, Heat, Necro Shade, this one's missing, God, I, as always. Bubble Man, Blade Edge, I have like two of these for some reason, in this binder rather. Woodsman, Stratos, Ocean, I love these two cards. Stratos, Stratos and Ocean are always cool to me. I think, I think Stratos, is Stratos still banned right now? It might be. Missing card, as always. Uh, Wild Wing Man, Flame Wing Man. Shining Flare Wingman, which is my favorite element to hero, by the way. Tempest, Terra Firma, Plasma Vice. Yeah, I never care for Plasma Vice much. Electrum, cool enough. Wild Edge, and then Thunder Giant. Thunder Giant's cool, I guess. Not my favorite, but eh, it's cool enough. And then some more Heroes of War cards. Um, Milk of Fusion, King of the Swamp, which... Not exactly a hero support card, but... Uh, it, it can be used anyway. Skyscraper, Future Fusion, more missing cards, Generating Machine, Spirit Message, um, Spirit Message I, I need to get the other ones, and Destiny Board itself, Assault Beast, good for an Assault deck, Assault Mode deck rather. Magical Hats, Destiny Hero, Double Dude, I, I didn't care much for, for Destiny Heroes honestly. I don't dis I don't hate them or anything, but I, I, I kind of always felt that the elemental heroes were much more useful. Uh, Flying Sky Fortress, Skyfire, cool as hell name. Enraged Battle Ox. Amplify Wait, do I have two of these? Oh no, you know what? I was looking at it through this. Jeez. Flying Kamikiri number one. Mataza the Zapper. Is that fun? Yes, it is. Megaton Magical Cannon. Millennium Scorpion. Millennium Scorpion kind of seems like a broken card to me. Well, not broken, but like easily exploitable. Every time it destroys a monster in battle, it gains 500 attack points. Oh, it enters the graveyard. So it goes from 2,000. So if you can destroy something on the field fairly fairly easily or something using it, it goes to 2,500. It makes the, it makes killing things even easier. Then it goes to 3,000, 3,500, that. I mean, there's all there's obviously always multiple ways to get rid of a card on the field that's that's bothering you. But Millennium Scorpion is one of those cards that always seemed like way too easy to exploit to me. I always tried to figure out like how I mean, how is this like never a problem for people? I don't know. Oh yeah, transcendent wings. I do not have winged creepo. As far as I know. Wall of Thorns. Dark and Designator. Alien Ammonite. I still need to like the rest of the alien cards. Cosmic Horror Gangiel. Alien Overlord, Alien Kid, this one's like a super rare, Curse of Darkness, Dark Knight number 3, what am I doing right now? Just showing up my card collection. Other cards that don't really matter, not to me at least, uh, well, they're mostly in frame, I don't know. Sorry about that, I can't get the camera up high enough for it to get to everything. Well, maybe I can, let me see. Yeah, you know, I forget it, just... See everything that you can. 
Yeah, just have alien, have alien Omnite in here twice. I need to remove that. Huh, Opticlops. Where did get this from? Oh, Legacy of Darkness. Ah, want to have that back, as you can see. Let's see. A one-eyed giant that serves the dark ruler Hardess. I love that card. It scares its enemies with its sharp horn, shattering them to pieces. Yeah. Well, 1800 attack, 1700 defense, doubly decent. Even over again. You know what? I need to make some, some sort of rule that any any copies I have, any doubles that I have, I need to move those to another another ten or something. Another missing section here. I don't know that how that's for, but here's something interesting here. More fake cards. Beta and Gamma, which are both level 5s here. They're, they are not level 5s in real life, they are level 4s. Now, these have kind of the same feeling, same texture as a real card, more or less. Uh, but, mm, again, the artwork is off, the, um, the visuals are off, and once again, they don't have Konami and Yu-Gi-Oh! on the back. Again, I don't know for sure if like the Japanese cards have Konami and Yu-Gi-Oh printed on the back of theirs, but uh, since you know, since I'm in the U.S. Yeah, and these don't have those, and again, fakely, it's fake. They don't count. So I should probably remove. I'll, I'll, I'll go back and remove these later. Sacra Monsters, Junk Warrior, Turbo Warrior, and then spaces for the other ones that I don't have. Hundred Eyes Dragon, Junk Warrior. Again. God damn it! Why is it here twice? Can I see something? Oh, that? Wait, let me see something. Oh, uh, what? Wait, my what? Uh, trying to see. No, these. Are, okay, for a second I thought this one might have been an ultra rare, and the first one in this might have been a um, like a super rare. No, I think they're both. I think they're both super rares, actually. Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth, Colossal Fighter. I like both these cards. Not an effect monster. Let's find that later. Hey, Starless Dragon. I had two of these. What the fuck happened to the other one? Red Dragon, Archfiend, and the, I can't say, I can't say the name right now. But Blockless Dragon. Let's see. Of these three, Red Dragon Archfiend and Black Wars Dragon are both ultra rares, but Sawdust Dragon isn't. It's a super rare? Ah, jeez, I have no idea. Missing spaces for the other ones. I need to get Power Tool Dragon, Ancient Fairy Dragon, and, uh, well, technically speaking, Life Stream, Life Stream Dragon, but no, whatever. And uh, Black Wing Dragon. Sawdust Dragon Assault Mode. Cool. You know what? While I'm here, I will place this one. Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Place some right here. And I'll completely leave this space in the middle open for um, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. And all the other Stardust and Red Dragon Archfiend cards that I'm missing. Jesus. Okay, so now these cards here are all the cards from the uh, Machine Revolt um, Structure Deck. Right here, you can see Ancient Gear Gadgetron Dragon. Everything else is common. Oh, yeah, Ancient Gear Engineer is near twice. Ancient Gear Engineer. Yeah, that's kind of fun to say. These are all common. Yeah, the, the common Ancient Gear Golem that I talked about. Nobody really wants to use that. Ancient Gear Beast. I had a super rare of Ancient Gear Beast. I don't know what happened to it. I like that card. I'm gonna have to, have to try and buy another one or something. These are all actually. This is this is actually isn't even part of the deck. Gadget arms. This isn't part of the deck. Oh, actually, neither is Mars Radiant. Hmm. I remember correctly, I added. I kind of added these two cards to to um, the Machine Revolt deck because I I figured that they could boost the the power. Mars Radiant would um, increase the power of Earth monsters. And Gadget Arms is, is another machine type monster to use, so. Getting to the um, Blaze of Destruction structure deck. 
blaze of destruction structure then that's kind of hard to say missing cards from here too it's something to think oh you know what? i'm gonna end up i'm gonna go back and remove some of well, most of these cards actually and i'll just leave the the boss monsters and you get got your one dragon and and the like I'll, I'll remove these cards later on So yeah, Blaze of Destruction, Structure Deck. Kind of an okay deck. Yep. Let's drop those. Uh, where do we go right here? Um, damn. I'm missing Red Eyes, Darkness Dragon. But I do have Vampire Genesis and Infernal Flame Emperor. I had the Water Deck too. I had um, Fury from the Deep. I don't know what I did with it. Yeah, lost his cards too. Jesus, I keep losing too much. These are all from a couple of boost packs that I got some time ago. <clears throat> Hopeless Bear Phantasm Dragon. Uh, oh, you know, I'll go back and I'll go back and move these cards. Like I said, Triforge. Damn, Triforce Sops. What does this card do? Let's see. Level 6, Dark Attribute, Machine Type Effect Monster. 1600 Attack, 2800 Defense. During either player's turn, if your opponent summons 3 or more monsters this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. Yeah, this card's kind of, that's kind of banking a lot right there, isn't it? Maybe they're banking on pendulum summoning or something? If this card is special summoned this way, it is unaffected by other card effects, but loses 500 defense during each opponent's standby phase. Fuck that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back. Like, I kept saying it, I'm gonna go back and take these cards out. Let's see. Fire. Okay. Brother of the Fire Fist Rhino. That's another rare card right there. Mm. Fairy Cheer Girl and Chaos Exceeds Dark Fairy Cheer Girl. Oh, wait a minute. These are. Hold on. I just realized these two are related to each other. This card. Yeah, alright, I did damn. I guess I placed these next to each other when I first got them. Fairy Cheer Girl, and yeah, Chaos Xyz, Dark Fairy Cheer Girl. I think, I think of the other ones too. Hmm, look at me. Oh. I did not realize I had this. One of the Dragon Rulers. Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders, or Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders. I didn't realize I had this card. The Dragon Ruler has completely fucked the game for a long time. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure all four of them are so banned right now. Jeez. Yeah, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! game on PS4, I played around with them for a little bit. And you know what, I definitely see, like, why they were a fucking problem. And the uh, more competent duels than I can can make absurd use of these cards. Spell Book of Judgment, what does this card do? I don't know the other ones. Too. I need to get all the Dragon Rule cards. And the band, but I'm still gonna get them anyway just for collection purposes. Spell Book of Judgment. Let's see. Uh, uh, close enough. During the end phase of the turn, this card was activated. Add spell book, spell card. Uh, add spell book, spell cards from your deck to your hand, except Spell Book of Judgment. Up to the mon up to the number of spell cards activated at this turn's resolution. Then you can switch to summon from your deck one spellcaster type monster whose level is less than or equal to the number of cards added to your hand by this effect. That's one sentence. You can only activate one spell book of judgment per turn. Well, if you say so. Uh, probably decent in a spellbook deck. Probably very decent in a spellbook deck. I have one of the smaller trainee versions of the Dragon Rules. Uh, Burner, Dragon Ruler of Sparks. But I still need its older brother, Blaster, Dragon Ruler of Infernos. I need that card.
Let's see, the only rare card I have in this page is Giant Pearfish. Uh, oh, it's a worm. You know, I still say that worm should have just been an, an archetype rather than a whole new class in the game. Only type. Let's see, you can discard one monster and special summon one level 4 or lower worm type monster from your deck. You can only use this effect of Giant Pearfish once per turn. Not a bad effect. Kind of good, I think. Uh, yeah, some more fake cards here. Uh, money and items. I don't know exactly how I got these cards, but I kept them after all these years. Kind of like them. Um, let me think for a second. I still have two more cards I need to, uh, I need to put in here. And oh, what the hell? How the hell did I use this? I have all the space right here. Okay, so. Performpo Penguin type. Performpo Pendulum Sorcerer. Performpo Pendulum Sorcerer. That's. And. Xiang Shen Magician. Did I pronounce that correctly? There we go. Okay, well, that's that. I still have other cards. Let me see. Actually, you know what? I think we'll hold it there for now. I have other cards that I can go through, but for now, I think we'll just keep it. I think we'll just keep things right there. On things for now, and figure out what I'm going to do with this one. It's mint. It is, but it's not the same as. Like I said, this one came from the actual Yuki starter deck. I don't know what to do with this one. I'll figure something out. But you know what? We'll end things right there. Um. I'll, do, I'll probably do another video next time, going through even more cards, trying to organize them, and maybe I'll go through like a full organization one day, or at least when I get all the cards that I need anyway. So, uh, until then, you know, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.